our preliminary conclusion is that Apple abused its dominant position for the distribution of music streaming apps through its App Store and distorted competition in the music streaming market. An App Store can become a gatekeeper, in particular if there's only one App Store available in a mobile ecosystem, as is the case for Apple's App Store. Apple exercises considerably market power in the distribution of music streaming apps to owners of Apple devices. On that market, Apple has a monopoly. The company not only controls the only access to apps on Apple devices, it also offers a music streaming service, Apple Music, that competes with other apps available in the Apple App Store, such as Spotify or Deezer. Apple charges a 30% commission fee for all purchases throughout its system, anti-steering provisions. They limit the ability of app developers to inform iPad or iPhone users of alternative, cheaper subscriptions available elsewhere. In fact, to avoid paying the 30% commission, some music uh, streaming providers decided to stop offering paid subscriptions in their apps. This is what Spotify decided to do in 2016. Our concern is that Apple distorts competition in the music streaming market to the benefit of Apple's own music streaming service, Apple Music. Apple Music is not subject to any of these rules and it's offered at a price at typically 9.99 euros. We are concerned that Apple's rules negatively impacts its rivals by raising its costs, reducing their profit margins as well uh, as their attractiveness on the Apple platform. 